Hey what's up everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity tutorial here on the channel. So in today's tutorial I'm just going to be doing something pretty simple today and that's showing you guys how to do uh, eye blinking in Unity. So let's say for example you want to add some extra detail to your game and to make it a bit more realistic you want your player to be able to blink at random times. Well today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So if you do enjoy this video, or you do think that this tutorial is helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and let's get right into it. Alrighty, so first up what we're going to do is we're going to go into the game view, just so we can uh, view how our UI is going to look, since we're going to do a UI based approach to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go game object, UI, and then image, and then here we have our... Uh, our image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center this into the middle of the screen. Now since this is meant to be like um, our like eyelids, right? So this is meant to be like one of our eyelids. What we're going to do is we're actually going to make this uh, black. So we can just do that. And then we're going to uh, make sure that this is as wide as our, uh, our screen. And then we will uh, increase the height as well. So just make sure that this eyelid takes up about uh, half of your uh, half of your screen, something like that. And then what you want to do is we'll duplicate that image and then we'll move it down. Because then this will be our bottom eyelid. And then there we go, so we've got our top and bottom eyelids right there. And then what I'm going to do to make it easier for, uh, you know, just making the uh, hierarchy more neater is we're going to right click on the uh, two images we have, so just select both your images and then right click and then click create empty parent. So now uh, our two images are now under a parent object, this just makes the hierarchy neater. And I'm going to rename this parent object to uh, eyelids, we'll just call it eyelids. You guys can call it whatever you like but I'm just calling it eyelids. So now when that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to go window and then animation and then animation and then this will bring up your animation tab so now you want to click create to create a new animation and then you just want to you know choose the location of where you want to save your animation and then just name it so I'm gonna name this animation blinking alrighty so now when you have your blinking animation created what we're gonna do is we're basically going to create a well, yeah, we're going to do the blinking animation now. So what you want to do is once you have your blinking animation created, just press the red button to start recording. And then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to position these eyelids uh, basically at the top of the screen here. Well, one of them at the top and then the other one at the bottom, of course. So not both at the top, just one at the top, one at the bottom. So then they're not seen. And then what we're going to do is just select a random portion in your uh, timeline. So I'll just do right here, for example, uh, just at 0 0.15, which is about a quarter of a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to uh, move these eyelids up to their like uh, original position of what I had before. So we'll just move them back into the middle of the screen. And there we go. So then the eyelids will close. And then afterwards what I'm going to do is I'm going to then copy these uh, starting keyframes and then I'm going to put them at the end here. And then boom we have a blinking. So yeah. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to go into the project tab and then we're going to find the animation. So here it is right here. Just click on it and then turn off the loop time since we don't want the animation to loop. And there we go. So now we've got the uh, eyelids pretty much done there. But one other thing that we actually uh, need to do as well is we need to set up the animator for these uh, eyelids. So what we're going to do is we're going to go window and then uh, animator and then this will bring up the animator tab, the animator window. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, so when you bring up the animator tab for the first time, I think the uh, layers uh, tab is the first tab that will be opened up onto, so you need to select parameters. And then what you do is you click the plus icon and then you go trigger and we're going to name this trigger blink. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to right click here and then we're going to create a new state and then a new empty state to be exact. Boom. And then we're just going to right click on this and then go set as default state. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to right click on the new state and go make transition. And then we're going to connect the transition arrow up to this uh, blinking animation. And then we're going to click on the arrow and then we're going to uncheck uh, has exit time and then we're going to select the condition and make it go to blink so whenever the uh, so whenever the blink condition is set whenever the blink trigger is uh, you know set then the character will blink the blink animation will happen and then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to do a transition arrow from uh, the blinking animation to the new state and uh, you don't really need to change anything here, just uh, leave has exit time enabled and then don't set any conditions. That's pretty much all good as is. And yeah, so now we've got the uh, animator set up. Another thing I want to make sure of as well is, um, and you guys will want to make sure of this as well, make sure the default position of your uh, eyelids is um, like up you know like more up here so then the uh so then when your game starts your eyes aren't just closed make sure the default state of them is that they're up here in fact if you guys even want to um you guys don't have to do this but um uh, if it helps you out what you might want to do as well is you might want to actually create another new animation again you guys don't have to do this but you can if you want to so you can create a new animation, and we'll just call this um, Eyes Idle. So it's like sort of like an idle animation for our eyes. Except what's going to happen is um, it won't really be an animation at all. Uh, just press the red button to start recording on the animation. And then at the very start of the animation, so at the uh, zero second mark, just move your eyelids up like that. And then we'll one of them up and then another one down. And then boom, so that is pretty much just like the idle animation for our eyes. Um, again, you guys don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. And again, uh, be sure to turn off the uh, loop time on it as well. And then uh, in your uh, new state, so what you could actually do is um, if you just did what I did and you created a eyes idle animation, uh, what you could do is you could actually um, either A, make this the default state instead and then reconnect up the transition arrows to the blinking animation or you could just delete this eyes idle animation and then go to your new state and then where you have the uh, motion variable you just then select your uh, eyes idle uh, animation here and then boom the uh, new state will have that animation set so yeah, so that's pretty much uh, how you set up all the uh, animator and stuff for the eyelids. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get into the scripting side of things. So what you want to do is I'm um, in your project folder, just right click, go create, and then C sharp script. And I'm going to call this random blinking. There we go. So now we're going to open up the script. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the script and what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be getting rid of this starter stuff here. Oh, we're just going to highlight this and get rid of it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to enter in our variables. So the first variable is going to be a public animator variable. So this will be the animator of our uh, eyes. So I'm just going to call this animator variable anim, you know it's just short for animator. And the reason as to why it's public is so then we can assign the variable in uh, in the actual Unity editor. So our next variables are going to be uh, public floats. So we're just going to enter public float. And what these are going to be called is min blink time. So that, that's short for minimum blink time. And then max blink time. So min blink time is short for minimum blink time and max blink time is short for maximum blink time. So it determines uh, 
how how often the player blinks. So the player will, you know, blink in between a random range of seconds. So let's say, for example, the minimum blink time is 2 seconds and the maximum is 100 seconds. The player could uh, blink every, say, um, in between those seconds. So in between 2 and 100 seconds is uh, every time the player blinks. So it basically just chooses a random number in between like the min blink time and the max blink time and whatever number is chosen is the time in which the player will blink after that uh, waiting period is over. Alrighty, so I think they're the only two variables we'll need for now, so what you want to do is uh, you want to go void at start. Oh, and also uh, another thing as well is you want to actually uh, have a bool since uh, we'll be doing a, uh, a while loop so we'll need like a bool so uh, we're gonna call this bool uh, looping we'll just call it looping and we're gonna equal it to true just like that and then in the start void so the start void is just where start is just where stuff happens at the start of a scene and for those of you who don't know what a void is it's basically just a function so what you want to do is you want to go start coroutine and we're just going to call this coroutine blinking oops it accidentally just auto filled out there we're just going to call this blinking and boom so now underneath the start void we're going to be entering i enumerator so this will be our uh, coroutine and it will be called blinking so make sure it's the exact same name as your uh, coroutine in the start void so if you have it named blinking here, then make sure it's named blinking here. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to go yield return new wait for seconds. And then in parentheses, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go random. Oops. Uh, because I have this uh, script name random blinking, it auto fills out. Uh, I hate it when, um, what's him call it? Uh when a Visual Studio does this, it auto-fills out stuff that I don't need, uh, it bothers me, but yeah. So you want to go random.range, and then in parentheses again, you'll then want to go min blink time, and then comma, max blink time. So, so basically what this line is doing here is um, it chooses a random number of seconds in between the min blink time and max blink time, and whatever that second, and whatever them seconds equal to, then uh, basically after that number of seconds, uh, the animation will play, the blinking animation will play. So underneath uh, the wait for seconds line, we'll be doing anim.setTrigger and blink. So I'm pretty sure that's what I called the trigger in the uh, animator from memory, I'm just going to go quickly check. And yeah, it's called Blink, so make sure that uh, that trigger name in your script matches up with the thing in your animator. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much the script. Well, there is actually uh, one thing that I did forget actually. So if you remembered early on, I did mention, I did mention that in the coroutine we'll be doing a while loop, and that's actually something I forgot about. So what we'll be doing now is we'll go uh, while, and then in parentheses, looping, and you can do equal to true if you want to as well, or you could just do while looping, that works as well. And then uh, inside of the uh, curly brackets, we'll be uh, copying this, and then pasting it inside of here, and then uh, boom. So what will happen now is uh, this uh, coroutine will just keep looping over and over and over again. So uh, your player will keep randomly blinking every uh, random number of seconds. Alrighty, so once you're done with your script, just uh, press Ctrl S to save it and go back into the Unity editor. And then uh, make sure you're in your scene view. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to drag the script somewhere into your scene, doesn't matter where, just drag it anywhere. Um, I'll just be dragging it to the canvas. So for my min blink time, I'm going to set it to 1, and for my max blink time, I'm going to set it to 10. So I'll have a maximum blink time of 10 and a minimum blink time of 1. And then for my animator, I'm just going to drag in the eyelids animator, and then boom, there we go. Alrighty guys, so now that we are all uh, done, how about now we test this out?
Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for uh, the blinking to occur. And there we go, so as we just saw, a blink happened. And there's another one. And yeah, so now our character, the player, will just randomly blink every uh, random number of seconds. So anyways guys, that is pretty much the end of this tutorial. Uh, if you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Also be sure to check out my games at omegonixlochlan.itch.io. Uh, a bunch of them are free. I do have one other paid one as well called Bodian Friends if you want to check that out. It is my largest game I've made, so yeah. And uh, yeah guys, so did this tutorial help you out? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Um, when it comes to the blinking, I actually do a very similar thing for my game ULEM Shadow Memories. Basically, uh, every random number of seconds in that game as well, the player can blink. I have an option to turn it off as well in case people think it, in case people think it's annoying as well. So yeah, and uh, yeah. So anyways, again, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.